Okay, I'm going to show you a neat trick. So I want to change colors and I want it to be even. So I've gone around a few times seeing if I could get it to even out by itself and realizing it's not going to happen anytime soon. So if I was to continue to use this piece till it was gone, it would end around here and this side, the yellow would be farther out than this side and it would be lopsided and it would drive me crazy. So I'm going to show you a neat trick to make it even if you're a little um, perfectionist like me sometimes. So you're going to need a piece of thin paper. This is just like newsprint paper, plain uh, scratch paper, and an iron. So I'm going to be careful not to burn myself. I'm going to, oh, and it's got water from um, where I steam it, my clothes in the morning. Okay, so we're going to cover our, I also have a towel down, which I use just for background, but it helps this time around to protect our surface. We're going to use the edge of the iron to fuse the two pieces of plastic together. So the iron is very hot. It's the same theory as when you vacuum seal your food bags, um, if you happen to know how to do that. So I'm just going to tilt it and wait a few seconds. I put it on the cotton setting, so we'll see if that worked or not. Okay. Uh, oops, I should have put a piece of paper down um, on the towel also. Okay, so it has fused, so you can see I now have a short piece, and, ah, okay, no harm done, beautiful. Okay, so now I have a shorter loop, it fused on the side as well, perfect. A shorter loop to use some other time, and I can add a different color now, I can change colors and it will look even, and everything is great, perfect. So that's my little tip and trick for you, see you next time.